Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gregory Gage and this video is going to be an unboxing of this. Let's get into it. So before we dive into the video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads. Um, I upload hair transplant updates every, every month if you're interested in that. And I'm also working on a lot more nerdy, geeky stuff. So you'll see more of that coming very soon. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I'm Buffy. The Vampire Slayer and you are? Was the most amazing show and still is the most amazing show to this day. First of all, I'm a Vampire Slayer. And secondly, I'm retired. I'm currently re-watching it on Disney Plus because it is now on Disney Plus and so is Angel. So if you haven't seen Buffy, you need to check it out. Did I get it? All right, I get it. You're evil. That probably would have sounded more commanding if I wasn't wearing my yummy sushi pajamas. Need a hand? No, thanks. And it still holds up to this day, so check it out. Right, this video we're going to be unboxing the Sideshow 12-inch Buffy figure. This is the Graduation Day Buffy. It's Sarah Michelle Gellar as Buffy. So this came out in 2004. Now, over the last 17 years, Sideshow has definitely upped their game in terms of quality, details, literally just everything. So this is like a blast from the past. It is not the most detailed figure. The paint job is awful it's terrible but the sculpt underneath it itself is really good so let's just take a look at this box and then we'll open it up and take a look at buffy so in front of it you can see we've got sarah michelle geller as she appeared in season two i want to say that's season two buffy that is season two buffy this isn't an orgy people it's a classroom yeah where they teach lunch. On the side of the box, you can see the figure just there. On the back, you can see there is again the figure there with quite a nice looking paint job there. It's quite a subtle paint job and it looks like it kind of looks like Sarah Michelle Gellar. Still not great, but it's better than what's inside this box. And then there is Angel. David Borean is just there, the other figure that you can get. They did do a whole load of 12 inch figures for Buffy and they're really not that great. <laughs> they're pretty bad. Facially, they just look awful. They're painted so badly. The outfits are pretty basic, but that's enough of slating these figures. I'm going to open this up and it's one of those really nice window display boxes. The inside of the box tells us about Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I'm not going to read this whole thing because it's pretty long. Um, but yeah, we can see Buffy there in her little window display box. So here we've got all of that detail about Buffy. There's some screenshots from the show itself. And there is Buffy in her little display box. Very, very nice. And you could keep her in there if you wanted to keep her in there. This box has never been opened. And I am going to do the unthinkable for a collector and open the box. So here we go, here we have Buffy in her box. I'm gonna undo all of the plastic ties and we will take a proper look at all of her accessories and everything in more detail. Okay, Buffy is out of the box and I'm taking a look at her accessories. First thing, she comes with a stand and you can see you've got the Buffy logo just there on the base. She also comes with this axe, actually really freaking sharp. Then she's also got the Hunger Munger, which is from season three, episode one. She also comes with two little stakes. Again, very, very pointy. You could do some real damage with that. I could probably stab that through my hand. Then Buffy herself, looking at her, she is, not gonna lie, pretty basic. She's got this really cool like leather jacket, which is what she wore in Graduation Day Part 2. You remember this? You wanna get it back from me? Dick. It's got the four little buttons there on the front, but it's actually just two little poppers. And as you can see, she has the teeniest, tiniest waist of all time. She's, she's very, very petite. She can. She can stand on her own. Um, so that is Buffy. Very, very basic. The plain black t-shirt. She's got really hard nipples underneath that t-shirt. Yeah, I mean, it does the job. It's, it's, it's simple. It's basic. You can see from the face paint, the paint application is awful. It's horrific. It just doesn't do her any favors. The, the skin looks really flat. There's no makeup around the eyes. She's kind of bloodshot. She's got a bit of a crazy blank stare going on. It's not the best paint application at all, but my plan is to get this repainted. There's so many guys out there that do really good work with repaints, like face repaints. One person is Psy Guy. He does a lot of really, really good repaints for these 12 inch figures. And I've seen him do a load of Buffy ones and they actually look great. 
there is another guy called Darren. Um, he's done the most incredible repaint of this figure here, which was kind of like the, the reason why I decided, you know what, I'm gonna get this figure because I'm gonna attempt to repaint it as good as Darren did. And his, you'll see it on the screen right now, looks incredible. It's so detailed, it looks just like Sarah Michelle Gellar. He's on Patreon and on there he's got a tutorial, full on tutorial. He filmed the entire process of him repainting Buffy and Spike. So I'm going to be using that with uh, with all the same materials and everything to make sure that I get mine to look exactly like his. And I've got all the like tiny little paint brushes and everything. So that is the plan for Buffy and she's going to look great with my Hot Toys because she's the same scale as the Hot Toys figures. But until I get her repainted, she's just gonna stand up with the Hot Toys and look very out of place because she's, she's, she's not, not, anywhere near detailed enough. But yeah, there we go, she's on her face, looking chill. There is Buffy. Let me know your thoughts of this Buffy action figure in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in my next video, which will be another Buffy unboxing. So stick around, check it out. See you later.